finally I got my hands on the 2019 Midori Diary. So excited to share this notebook with you guys. So let's go ahead and look at the details. So here we are looking at the MD 2019 Notebook Diary. This is in the A5 size, but they do come in the A6 as well. What I really like about this notebook is that the everyday diary pages are blank, meaning it's undated and you are free to use this however you'd like. I also appreciate the minimalistic design and that's really what caught my eye when it came to this notebook. So let's go ahead and flip through here. It comes with these numbered tabs that you can stick onto the side of the notebook for the months, January through December. And I'll show you where they have it marked off in a moment. I like right here the introduction story of 2019. Here is your annual calendar at a glance with 2019 and 2020 right here. So we start off with December as the first month and as you can see the clean boxes here and how it's not closed off allows extra room to write down any events or side notes or just journaling entries. It is a Monday start so I noticed that a lot of Japanese calendars because this is made in Japan uh, it does start with Monday which is different compared to the US where a lot of our calendars have a Sunday start with a Saturday end. This is nice though because your weekends are going to be together on the side and you can see the Sundays have the dates circled here. Just wanted to give you a close up look of the paper. The paper quality, I did an ink test so I'll show you that shortly but you can see how the next page is really faint and you can see the lines from the other side which might be distracting to some but for me I really don't mind but look at all this extra room you can write your quotes any notes to self event reminders I mean you can really you're free to customize this however you feel fit and I appreciate how the month here is just nice and subtle, very minimal again with the numbered month and then the abbreviated month name. And because again, this calendar, this diary is um, a Japanese calendar, it will have some of their Japan holidays noted on here. But again, it's not too distracting from the overall month at a glance and as we continue to flip through it does continue on until January 2020 so I will flip through that another thing I like is how all of the months are together in this notebook so it makes it easier to flip through the layout and then to do any future planning and here we end it with the January 2020 monthly overview and it starts with your daily pages so I like how nice and clean and open it is getting a closer look at the design right here on the top corners of each page I like these little parentheses because if you have a, um, a date stamp you can add that here or you can even write it in with a fine tip pen um, I prefer to use like my pilot pen but you can write down the dates here the day of the week these faint little bullets are nice to prioritize tasks and then you have your hourly calendar 
So it starts off at 8 a.m. and it ends down at the midnight hour. When you look over to the right side, now here you can see that the time column has the lines, but off to the right it is open and blank. So this is a nice space to do any journaling, writing down any thoughts, or maybe an extension of your events. And the bottom here is open as well. So I really appreciate that this design, even though it's minimal, it still has a few little details to make it your own. Right here, these little lines are the tabs that I was referring to with the stickers. These stickers here, you can peel these off and then add them to the edge and it'll make, an, make it easier for you to index the notebook. For this layout, um, even though you do have the day on the page, what's nice about this, because these lines are somewhat faint on the other side where you can see through it, I like that you can also set this up as a vertical weekly calendar. So right here, for example, could be your Monday section. This could be your Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And if you're afraid of maybe not having the line straight because the lines are on the other side, you could see the faint line right here. You could just as easily set this up as a weekly vertical layout. And then the continuing days would be um, as follows for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And this could be a blank section for the week. So that's another layout to consider when getting this notebook. I mean, it's just so fun that you can set this up in so many different ways. So one thing you'll see here is that the journal is not numbered. So if that's something that bothers you, you're welcome to number it as you go. And I noticed that it doesn't have a specific place to create your index. So that's something that you might want to add in or, um, you know, consider before purchasing this notebook. And that is pretty much how the rest of the diary looks. All the pages are the same. And it offers 385 of these pages for daily writing, but total it's 415 with the monthly and whatnot. I was maybe thinking that on the back it had some extra blank blank notes for, uh, blank pages for notes, but it doesn't, so keep that in mind. But here is the ink test that I did with all of my favorite journaling pens that I use on a daily basis, and I just wanted to see how it would show through on the other side. So this Muji black marker, I should have known that it wasn't gonna hold up well, just because I feel like this marker is um, better for just general markings, like for moving boxes and labeling. So it's not something that I use for journaling, but I just wanted to see how it would hold up on this paper. But for my regular viewers, you know that my heaviest ink that I use regularly is the OptiFlow that I get from Staples, and I really, really like to use this, but I find that a lot of my journals can't hold up to the, the ink. But surprisingly, with the Midori cotton paper here it does not bleed through. Of course, the marker it did, but disregard that because, again, I don't use that regularly. And even the Crayola marker is holding up really well. So, I mean, you are going to see some faint uh, see-through, but nothing, you know, where I feel like it wouldn't be uh, distracting. Now, to some, you know, it could be because if you like to journal on both sides and you see these coming through, then I would recommend sticking to your standard ballpoints pen. Um, so my standard ballpoint pen is just anything, you know, that you can just get at the store that's nothing fancy. You'll see uh, that Pilot Light. This is an example or even the Delphonics. Just your standard pen writing pen, you'll see it does not 
really show through on the other side. If I hold it right here. So there, it's pretty, it's the faintest out of all of them, where it's least distracting. But all in all, I really am excited to give this notebook a try. I like how it has the two silk ribbons here. And I do wish, um, you know, I'm not going to be too picky, but one thing that I do enjoy with finding an ideal just notebook or diary in general is having an elastic. So my moleskin, I love carrying this around and I realized that I really enjoy using it because it has the elastic closure. So if I want to throw it in my purse real quick or um, just take it around, you know, the pages are guaranteed to stay closed because of this elastic piece. Now, I do like the A5 size with this MD Midori diary, and the reason why I went for an A5 is because I noticed that this year, my free um, flow thinking is a lot better when I have more space. A lot of my regular viewers know that I like and I enjoy pocket planning. And for the longest, I would always rave about A6 size notebooks as well. But, you know, I've been coming across a lot of projects and ideas. And um, I've just really been liking more paper space. It kind of encourages more thought and flow and it gets like my creative juices going so you can see in this moleskin I've journaled about it before I'll leave links down if you haven't but because the pages are a lot bigger than your standard like a6 I just find myself just letting it all out here you know, some days I just pour all out on the pages. Some days I just want to scribble and draw. Um, other days I just want to write. So um, I just love carrying this around. Now, a lot of you guys might be wondering what my intentions are for this new Midori Diary. And when I purchased this, I saw it as um, a new creative project for me for 2019. I want to start like a photo diary and document little pieces and milestones of my life because so much has happened this year in 2018 and I've been keeping track of it but with social media a lot of us you know we document through our phones and we just upload it through like Instagram or Facebook and I just really want to get back to the good old fashioned, you know, collaging, clipping out images and pasting because it's nice to just flip through and have something in hard copy. I don't know. I'm very call me an old soul or old fashioned, but I just love holding like the memories in my hand and um it's very just nostalgic that way. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching this review. And if you do not have a Japanese bookstore in your area to pick this up, you can try Etsy, Amazon, eBay, or just any of the online retail stores that um, carry Japanese stationery could have it. So Google's your best friend. Type in the Midori Notebook. Let me see. The Midori Notebook Diary. And let me know if this is something that you're interested in as well. Do you guys have your diary or journal picked out for 2019? And if so, what are you using? What have you decided on? Um, this is going to be separate from, you know, my planner because even though I love to combine the both, I don't, this might be a little bit too heavy carrying around every day. So this is something I would probably have to keep at my desk and keep safe because I just couldn't imagine carrying this in my purse, going grocery shopping with all of my, you know, photos and personal thoughts in here. So, all right guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.